Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is Death Ray Manta by Rob Farron. And yes, this game is the DRM in the otherwise DRM-free Bundle in a Box Deep Space Bundle. I'm required to make some kind of a joke about this game being DRM, so there it is. Got through it in the intro, we can check it off, and we can move on with this fantastic arena shooter. Now this game is only available through the Bundle in a Box Deep Space Bundle, so I would suggest that you grab that bundle right now, if it's still available. Not sure about the bundle? Well, there might be an annotation appearing on the screen right now that will direct you to my video outlining the bundle and the pluses and minuses of the Bundle in a Box Deep Space Bundle. Now, I personally think that this game alone is well worth the price of the bundle, but you're going to make that decision for yourself. Now, this comes to us from Rob Remakes, or Rob Farron of Rob Remakes fame, and uh, it's quite an interesting game. It's a bit of an iteration on some of his previous work. We'll talk about that as we go. Uh, you're going to see me die a lot because I'm not that good at this game, and then now I'm talking while playing the game, so I'm going to be even worse. So expect your mileage to vary. You will probably be better at this game than I am, but uh, yeah, such is playing games on the internet. So what is Death Ray Manta? As I've said, it's an arena shooter where you play as a Manta Ray who blew up his house and now he lives in space. Yeah, there's a little bit of Jeff Mentor insanity in Rob there, but uh, it's a good kind of insanity. So let's go ahead and get into things. Prepare to see colors. Many, many colors. I am serious when I say if you have one of those medical conditions that makes you freak out and swallow your tongue when there are too many colors on the screen, put a spoon in your mouth, because here we go. Yes, this is me. I am the Death Ray Manta. And my goal? To kill the things that are on the screen. And while I am killing those, I can collect these Space Tiffins. They will then follow me around and shoot at enemies. The little triangles are nothing as far as I can tell except for obstacles that will kill you. And the red guys, as you can see, well, they want to eat me. I don't know what they are, but clearly they have, uh, they have some ill intentions towards my manta ray, so let's go ahead and kill them. Once you clear all the enemies, you move on to the next stage and you go from there. A lot of influences here, as I said, uh, definitely wearing them right on his screen, uh, right on his sleeve. As you can see, yes, 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 appearing on the screen. Uh, shades of Space Giraffe, shades of uh, Scorgasm from Charlie's Games. Nice little write-up on Rob's website about some of the influences that went into this game. Uh, so it, it's this game, this is what it is. It's going to get more difficult, and that's pretty much it. You're going to collect these uh, diamonds, these Space Tiffins and you are going to kill enemies. And yeah, you're gonna go from there. Now, it is important to try to grab those Tiffins because as you can see on the upper right-hand corner, I have my Space Tiffin count, and on the upper left-hand corner, I have my Astro Zone count. And uh, yeah, those two things combine together for your total score. You can see my maximum total score to date is 31, and that is displayed in the center of the screen. So if you miss a Space Tiffin, that means that a level which is normally worth two points only nets you one point. So get your space tiffins. I, that's, I don't think stranger words have ever exited my mouth hole. Right, moving on. Hail Satan. So one really cool thing that uh, this game does, and this is something that Rob has actually addressed, is that when the level starts, even though there is a blinding flash of colorful light, you can actually move before the enemies spawn, before the obstacles spawn. And he has said that is intentional. That is a design. That is actually by design. That is a, a, an aspect of the design of the game. And uh, I think that's really cool. I think that is really, really cool. And uh, giant thumbs up from me on that. Uh, because actually, once you start to learn some of the earlier levels, you will already be in a position to like clear the level by the time the screen actually uh, actually zones in. So here we go. I mean, this is pretty much like I said. There, in, there ain't a lot to this game. It is what it is. It, it is. It is right here in your face with brilliant color. 
And uh, I'm just going to keep going until I die, which is probably going to be pretty darn soon. When you die, you just immediately start over. It's one of them kind of games. It is a spacey arcade shooter. And uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Again, this is the exclusive game in the Deep Space Bundle right now. Man. So, yeah, we're getting some variety here now. We are getting these guys with a spotlights who want to hurt me. Oh, I did glorious and reached some such level. So, there we go. That's... That's pretty much Death Ray Manta. I mean, I could stop right now, but I ain't gonna. I'm gonna play a couple more for you. And, uh, yeah, just treat your eyes to some more light orgasms. Now, my number one criticism of this game is... I wish it was a dual stick shooter. It's not. You hold down uh, one of your button keys. Works right out of the box with an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, but you hold down one of your buttons. Uh, in this case, I'm using A in order to fire, which means you have to face the direction you want to fire. And I don't think I've ever played a great arena shooter that wasn't a dual stick shooter. You know what I mean? Uh, Geometry Wars, Scorgasm, Bullet Candy, Everyday Shooter, you know, these are all dual stick shooters. And uh, I miss that. Now, Rob has promised an update at some point in October, and I think it'd be super if he actually added the ability to dual stick it. Uh, dual stick it? That's a thing now. I just made that up. Uh, if he added the ability to dual stick it in that update. Uh, I don't expect that he will, because this game is very much an iteration on his previous game uh, series, which was called uh, Senso. And uh, this is very, very iterative of Senso, but I'm not saying that as a negative. I'm not saying that as a bad thing. Uh, I think in my personal opinion, that this is kind of Rob's magnum opus here. I think that this is the logical conclusion of the iteration that he's been doing in the Senso series with Senso, uh, with uh, Squid, Squid Harder, Senso Championship Edition, that sort of stuff. I think this game is definitely demonstrating the lessons that Rob has learned in making those games. This game controls better than any of the Senso games that he ever made. It looks better than any of his Senso games. It feels better, plays better, everything... Damn, I knew I was going to die to that. Everything about this game is better than the Senso games. Um, you know, you can actually get the Senso games as well in Bag Full of Wrong. Bag Full of Wrong is part of the Deep Space Bundle. Yeah, you can also head over to Rob's website for Bag Full of Wrong and throw him, uh, you know, six, seven dollars and get Bag Full of Wrong in your pocket for that money too. But uh, yeah, go ahead and go over Support Bundle in a Box, pick up Bag Full of Wrong along with this game and all of the other awesome games that are in the bundle in a box. So as I was saying before I got into this weird spontaneous sales pitch for Bundle in a Box, uh, you know, this game is definitely uh, iterative. If you've played his previous games, yeah, you're gonna recognize this. I am a sea creature who shoots a spread laser and the game is blinding me with color. Have I seen this before from Rob? Yes, I have. Do I care? No, I don't, because I think it's amazing. And you know, when I want my eyes to bleed from overexposure to neon colors, Rob is the guy that I go to for that. And uh, you know, it, it, again, this game, I kind of wish that he would do the update to this game in October to add some customization options like he's promising and then put a period at the end of the beautiful sentence which has been Rob's journey into the arcade arena shooter and start to cultivate something new. Uh, I love his games, uh, everything that I've played from him, fantastic, giant thumbs up, um, but I'm ready to see what else he's capable of. I think he has kind of perfected this genre, at least to the extent that he seems to want to do this genre. So. Uh, Rob, little, very little chance that you're actually <laughs> that you're actually watching this video. But if you are, thank you so much for making some amazing games. Thank you for this amazing game, and uh, I really and truly do mean it when I say that I think that this game is the logical conclusion of everything you've been doing in the Senso series. And I would love to see what else you're capable of, man. So this is DRM Death Ray Manta. Really not a whole lot more I can uh, do for you here or say. Uh, music is great. Visuals are great. Control really tight. Again, do wish it was a dual stick shooter as opposed to a hold down the button and, uh, and move in the direction you want to fire. 
But other than that, this game is super solid. You are not going to find a better deal than what you can get this game for in the current bundle in a box deep space bundle. All right, guys, I kind of want to keep playing this game. I might go over and live stream it, uh, a rare live stream from Big Dave. Uh, so check that out if you happen to be watching this video like the moment after it's posted. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Do I ever say that? Talk to you guys later? What the hell? I'm just making up stuff right now. All right, guys, let's do the proper, let's do the proper outro. Let's, let's end the video the proper way. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. And buy the bundle in a box, Deep Safe Bundle. Right now.